welcome back to the Illinois Fighting Illini Dynasty. We are here from DeKalb, Illinois at Husky Stadium as the Illinois Fighting Illini go on the road to an in-state opponent, the Northern Illinois Huskies. These two teams met back in Season 2 of this dynasty when Northern Illinois came into Champaign and Illinois won that game 27-17. Now this time around here in Season 4, we go on the road to face NIU. The Huskies went to Death Valley last week to play the defending national champions, the Clemson Tigers, and they gave Clemson a pretty good game. They only lost by 9 points on the road there. Illinois will kick off to start this game, and NIU elects to receive. We are underway here from Husky Stadium. NIU is led by their impact quarterback, Dustin Fletcher. Last game against Clemson, he had two touchdown passes, threw for nearly 200 yards. And we saw him in season two. He was a sophomore, and now he's a fifth-year senior, leading this Husky offense for the third straight season as he hands off to Javion Ducker. Ducker also a guy that has been a rock for this NIU offense as the running back for the last three seasons as well. And on second down and long, he gets another handoff, and it's quickly third down and seven now as this defense looks to get off the field, and Fletcher fires in quickly, and he's got Jared Archie on a slant route there. Fletcher fit that one in a tight window, and NIU's quickly in midfield. It's another slant, and this one's caught by Hines. Hines over the middle, another first down, and attacking Illinois over the middle here early on in this series. First and 10 now from about the 39 yard line. Fletcher will give it to Ducker once again and Ducker breaks a tackle and he's going down the field and he's finally brought down at the 15. What a run from Ducker. He's had a handful of them already. And NIU is attacking this Illini defense straight down the middle but this time that one's deflected away. That's Sidarius McConnell, the defensive end who is down there in coverage. Nice play there by McConnell, and it's second down and 10. Fletcher looking to throw. He's going to fire over the middle once again. It's Edwards, and Edwards bounces off a tackler, and he walks in. Touchdown, NIU. How did that happen? It looked like he was going to be stood up right there, and he just bounced off a tackle and kind of caught Illinois flat-footed there. And a tough break for this Illini defense. They gave up a touchdown in the opening series of the game to this NIU offense. And now Deuce Span and the Illini offense will take the field here. Span improvising here on the first play. And he's going down the sideline. He's kind of tangled up with Josh McCray. And he goes out of bounds. That's an 18-yard rush. Span picking up where he left off. 18 yards on the ground. We jump ahead now. It's second down and 12. Span making adjustments at the line of scrimmage. He's going to look to throw, and he's going to fire it downfield. He's looking for Bryant, and Bryant hauls it in over the shoulder. What a grab, and what a throw by Span. Do Span drop that one right in the bucket? What a dime down the field to Patrick Bryant, who is early on here becoming one of Span's favorite targets. And Bryant's looking like he's the one having a breakout season here at receiver. We jump ahead a couple plays. It's third down and seven for Illinois as they look to get into the end zone here on this drive. Span looking to throw here, and he's going to back up. He evades a defender, and Span is going to go down the sideline. He picks up the first down. Another great job by Span to improvise there, and he converts the first down for Illinois. They go into the I formation with first and goal now from about the two-yard line. And that's actually Samari Collier who's in at quarterback. That's a handoff to Reggie Love. It's a touchdown for Illinois. But Deuce Span was taken off the field there after that previous play. And Illinois will celebrate the touchdown here momentarily, but we're all holding our breath to see what's wrong with Span. And it's a broken finger, but he will return to this game very shortly. So hopefully that will get taped up and Span will be able to return here so Illinois fans can catch their breath. Scary moment for Span. The last thing that this team needs is an injury to their star starting quarterback. So now on this ensuing series for NIU after that stop it's third down and six and Ducker's going to be sent in motion here. It's a screen and Fletcher avoids the rush and he gets it off and that's going to be a first down. Joe Harrison with the reception and what a great play design there that caught Illinois off guard. 
And this time around, they're going to give it to Harrison again. This time, it's a handoff, and it's another first down. And IU doing a good job sending guys in motion and confusing this Illini defense. Fletcher looking to throw here on first down. He's got Lewis over the middle, and he's brought down from behind by Robinson. Robinson with potentially a touchdown saving tackle there. It's now second down and 11. Fletcher looking to throw. He's got time and he fires over the middle and this time it's Freeman. Right now NIU is moving the ball right down the throat of this Illini defense who is struggling to come up for answers. And this time it's gonna be a dart over the middle to Williams and an NIU touchdown. Fletcher on point today, his second touchdown pass in the first quarter. Wow. We very quickly move ahead here as Illinois is back down by a touchdown in this game and Span continues to take advantage of the open field here on the ground as he picks up a huge chunk there. And it's first down and 10, Illinois already across midfield as these two teams playing a game of pinball right now. These two defenses struggling to stop the offense. That's going to be a dump off to Love in the flats. It's second down and two. This time Love gets the handoff and he's got a hole over the middle and that's going to be another first down. Illinois looking to match NIU with another touchdown here in the first quarter. Fresh set of downs now. Anderson set in motion. It's going to be a play action. Span's going to roll to his right. And Span's hesitating and he's going to take off again. He's got another first down. Deuce Span continues to toy with the defenses, and you can see he's fired up there. And that's why if you cannot contain Deuce Span, this offense can be deadly. That is why Illinois is looking to put up a ton of points on the board this season. Speaking of more points, that's Josh McCray, 14 yards up the gut, and that was easy. Great blocking downfield, and just like that, we are tied again. Josh McCray, number 24, gets his first touchdown of the game. And what great blocking. Nice block there from Kenny Rogers. And now NIU is going to take back over here. It's 14 apiece. Ducker gets the ball going up the middle. He's making cuts downfield. That's 14 yards. Ducker already with 56 on the ground. And it's first down and 10 now. Illinois is going to send the blitz. And Fletcher dumps it off to Edwards. And Edwards is wrapped up by Cornelius Taylor. Nine yards. Can NIU put down a fifth consecutive touchdown in this game up on the board here? This time it's going to be Ducker trying to go east to west. And Illinois was ready for it. Joriel Washington is second tackle for Lawson. It's third down and four. Can this defense finally get off the field here? Fletcher will look to throw, and he's going to fire over the middle, and it's incomplete. Illinois forces a stop, and NIU punts it away. It's about time. Now the Illini offense will take the field here with the chance to take its first lead in the game. Love gets the handoff. It goes five yards, and it's second down and five. We jump ahead. Third down and three now from about the 40-yard line. It'll be Love again. He cuts to the left side of the field, and Love's got another first down. Right now, Illinois having no trouble moving the ball offensively. Six rushes for 32 on the ground for Reggie Love. And Span continuing to look to throw here on first down. He's going to fire to the left. He's got Patrick Bryant, and Bryant trying to make a man miss in the open field. He's brought down, but that's going to be nine yards. And Illinois once again across midfield, second down and one. Span looking to throw. He's going to roll out to his right. And Span, this time he's going to fire it off to Anderson, and he's got him. He goes out of bounds, 21 yards. Span hooking up with Anderson for the second time already in this game. And Anderson, another guy that has surprisingly become a favorite target of Span here so far early on in the season. This is going to be an option play as Span pitches it out to McCray, who's got 14. McCray with an early impact on this game as well. It's now going to be first and goal from about the seven yard line. Span looking to throw. They're setting up a screen. It's going to be at McCray once again. And McCray cuts back to the right and he walks in. Another touchdown. Josh McCray, his second in a row. This time a touchdown reception. And McCray puts the Illini in the lead for the first time today. 
How about the offenses in this game so far? 35 points about to be put up on the board here, and we still have four minutes left to go in the first half. McCray with two touchdowns. Having a nice day there as him and Reggie Love will get a bulk of the carries here. Reggie Love considered the first string running back. But McCray certainly making a good impression here. Now NIU down for the first time will look to rebound offensively. It's going to be Aaron Edwards. And it will be second down and three. Fletcher with an empty backfield behind him. He's going to face another blitz from Illinois as he fires it off to Kenny. And Kenny powers his way forward. He gets across the marker. Another first down. Illinois was able to come up with a stop last time around. We'll see if they can do it again here as Fletcher takes this one up himself, and that's eight yards. This Illinois defense looked really good as they really suffocated UCF last week, but right now they're kind of on the ropes here against NIU. This time, Fletcher tries to keep it again. Illinois was ready for it. And it's third down and three. Fletcher looking to throw. He's going to dump it off to Kenny, and Kenny cuts back up across midfield. And that's a first down. NIU doing a lot more sending guys in motion, hitting Illinois with a lot of quick stuff. And it's first down and 10. Fletcher's gonna try to scramble again, but he gets absolutely popped by Calvin Hart. What a hit. He can't try to do that for a third time in a row and not expect to get rocks like that. Calvin Hart laying down the hammer. It's now second down and 12. Fletcher will try to fire it deep downfield, and it's knocked down by Daniel Edwards. Good coverage by Edwards as Fletcher took a shot, and he had a chance to pick that one off. Nonetheless, it'll be third down and 12. Illinois drops back into zone coverage here, and Fletcher fires to the left, and it's going to be picked off by Hart. Hart going down the sideline, and he's out of bounds. Another turnover for this defense. Fletcher makes his first mistake today. And Hart was just camping back there and he picked that one off. That was underthrown. What a defensive series for Calvin Hart. Gets the interception and now Illinois with a big chance to take a two score lead in this game the way the offense has been humming. Love gets a dump off and he gets a first down. Nicely done. Turnovers, especially in these types of games, they can be huge as you don't want to miss an opportunity to match points on the board and Illinois can take a two score lead here with points. Span will keep it himself again as he slides down and after breaking his finger I think Span's going to take it easy here. He slides down. He's got to avoid that contact and I'm sure Coach Deal told Span to take it a little easy here. He's going to look to throw on first down as there's a man in his face but he's got Love who's wide open over the middle. Love stutter steps and he's brought down. Nobody was over the middle that time for NIU and Love picks up 24. Quickly, Illinois is in the red zone. It's going to be a fake here and Span rolling out to his right and is he going to do it to him again? He is another first down. 11 yards. NIU cannot let Span just run wild without anybody near him there. And Illinois looking to score here. It's fourth touchdown in a row. That time they had good coverage. NIU did, and that's going to be out of bounds. Second down and goal. As the half's coming to a close here, there's only 38 seconds to go. Span will look to throw. And Span's backing up. He fires in the end zone, and it's picked off. It's intercepted by Brown. Well, that drive came to a crashing halt as Span makes his first mistake of the day, and I don't know what he was doing there. He had Josh McCray, and if he had hit him, that probably would have been a touchdown. So both teams alternate interceptions defensively, and now NIU gets the ball as that's a nice over-the-shoulder grab by Hines. 26 seconds to go here in the half. NIU with two timeouts. They still have a chance to potentially get in the field goal range at the very least. It's going to be a draw to Ducker. And Ducker's going to be brought down in the open field. NIU will have to burn its second timeout. 22 seconds remain. And if you're Illinois, you just want to at least prevent a potential touchdown here. Fletcher fires over the middle. He's got Lewis, and Lewis breaks a tackle. And he'll go up to about the 45. That'll momentarily stop the clock. 
And with the clock winding down here, Fletcher snaps the ball. Illinois sends a blitz, and Fletcher just gets rid of it, fires it out of bounds. There was a receiver in the area. And with 10 seconds to go, it's second down and 10. They bring Lewis inside. Fletcher is going to look to his right, and he steps up. He fires out to Lewis on a screen, and Lewis stumbles, and he's brought down. That will force NIU to burn its final timeout, and now with five seconds to go, they're just going to have to settle for a Hail Mary opportunity here. Fletcher will heave it downfield, and that one is knocked down. It's bobbled, and it is incomplete. The half finally comes to a close, and there is no shortage of offense. Both teams lighting it up. Illinois with a couple stops in a row there to end the half. And Illinois walks away with a seven-point lead. Outside of an interception by both quarterbacks, these offenses have looked really good, and the defenses will certainly need to make some adjustments in the second half to cool down all this scoring. And you can see the disparity. Illinois definitely rushing the ball very well. They've rushed, they've outrushed NIU. A lot of that has had to do with Deuce Span with 80 yards on the ground doing it himself. NIU with 68 yards on the ground, but they've had some success passing the ball. And it's fair to say, whichever defense can come up with more stops here in the second half will probably win this game. If you're Illinois, it's a good thing they get the ball here to open up the second half and have a chance to get a two-score lead that they failed to do before that span interception on the previous drive. Reggie Love gets the handoff here on third down and two, and he'll pick up the first. Last thing that Illinois wants is to get into a shootout with NIU here. This is the type of team that can get you if you're caught napping. And I'm sure defensive coordinator Jerry Ozanaro will come up with some adjustments here defensively as well to help take the pressure off the offense. Span with another 10 yards on the ground. He's up to 90. And he might be able to get over 100 yards rushing if he keeps it up. Reggie Love gets the handoff here in second down and 11. That'll go for seven. It's third down and four. And Illinois is just within reach of Reggie Mathis' field goal range. And we'll see how Illinois plays this here. They send Breedlove into the backfield. And Breedlove is going to get the handoff, actually. He picks up four, but they're going to say he's short of the first down. Decision time for Illinois. Breedlove, a freshman wide receiver who's buried down the depth chart. But they're going to quickly snap the ball. It's a handoff to Love, and he's easily got the first down. No hesitation from Coach Deal. He sends the offense back out there, and they power through. Good push from the O-line. And now Span will work with a fresh set of downs. He's going to look to throw, and he fires a dart to Bryant, and Bryant finds his way into the end zone. Just like that, touchdown, Illinois. Patrick Bryant breaking out this season. As soon as Bryant got a step Past the corner, Span fired in a dart, and Bryant got the room necessary. The safety didn't have much time to react at all. And what a nice looking touchdown there. Span with a second touchdown pass today. And Illinois finally gets its two score lead it's been looking for. Now the NIU offense will take the field as Fletcher's dancing around. He breaks a tackle, and he's still not down. And they finally say he's down after the first. And Illinois defensively, I mentioned on the previous series, they're going to look to make adjustments here if they can see they can cool off this NIU offense. Ducker will get another first down, back-to-back -back first downs for NIU. And Fletcher pump fakes. He's going to look to fire downfield in the double coverage, and it's hauled in by Brian Hines. What a grab over the shoulder. I thought Prince Green had a chance to pick that one off, but... He couldn't find the ball, and that was a great over-the-shoulder catch. It's going to be third down and eight. Illinois shows blitz here. Trips left for NIU, and they're going to try to set up a screen, but Illinois gets to Fletcher, and it's incomplete. Great job by the defense. They force a stop, and NIU will have to settle for a field goal here. This will be about a 42-yarder. That one is up, and it is good. NIU cuts the lead down from 14 to 11, but Illinois will take it. Field goals aren't going to win this game, especially if you're NIU. And it'll remain a two-score game. So now spanning the offense here. We'll get another chance to settle in with another comfortable two-score lead. 
Second down and seven, Span feeling the heat. He's gonna fire it off for the last second to McCray and somehow Span fit that one in there and McCray converts. Two receptions for him. McCray, I've said it multiple times, he's having a good day here at Husky Stadium. And now Illinois looking to get across midfield here. It's gonna be Love who cuts up field and Love will get six yards on the ground. This Illinois rushing attack has been successful today, that's for sure. And this time they're gonna do a jet sweep to Patrick Bryant and Bryant's gonna hold up right up the middle and Bryant's going down the field. Bryant is gonna work his way into the end zone but there's a flag. Oh, it's a holding against Illinois and this one's coming back. Reggie Love with the hold and that blows up a 50 yard run just about from Patrick Bryant. And that'll be a tough pill to swallow if you're Illinois. That backs them up back into their own territory here. It's second down and long. Span will look to throw. He's looking to his left. And Span with a ton of room once again. He's going to cut off field. He's got another first down. That'll put Span over 100 yards, I believe. NIU has not been able to stop Do Span. Second down and nine now. Span looking to his right, but he fires over the middle and he fits it into Anderson. What a grab by Zach Anderson. That's his third reception today. Boy, he's really impressed me. He was not a guy that I expected to be big in this offense at the tight end position, but Anderson is really becoming a favorite target of Span. How about this time? Anderson's got it again, but it's a touchdown. Anderson, what a day. Illinois gets the touchdown after all, but instead of Patrick Bryant, it's Zach Anderson, the true sophomore tight end. And it's another post route that Anderson has been able to create a ton of separation. He did it against UCF last week. And what a day for him. Once again, not a guy that I expected to sort of break out in this offense, but he's looking really good. Now Fletcher down 18 points. He's gonna fire it off to Derek Coker. And NIU now is in a bit of a hole. We're into the fourth quarter already, and NIU's down by three scores. He's going to fire it over the middle. It's almost picked off by Coleman, but somehow Eric Lewis hauled that one in. And NIU gets across midfield. Second down and five now as we jump ahead of play. Fletcher looking to throw once again. He's got Coker over the middle, and that'll be another first down. After the first quarter, this Illini defense has been able to hold NIU in check for the most part, but now they are threatening to score here as they have second and six from about the 10. It's a bubble screen out to Coker, who's got his third reception on this drive, and it'll be third down and two. This is a big play here for NIU. They have to get into the end zone to stay in this game. Fletcher's gonna keep it himself, but he's gonna be stood up in the open field by Darren Robinson. What a play by Robinson. That's a touchdown saving tackle and it's fourth down. Robinson read that read option perfectly. He didn't let Fletcher get behind him. Great play there and now it's fourth down and four. Five wide for NIU. Can Illinois force a turnover? Fletcher fires over the middle to Freeman and Freeman might have got it. No, they say it's a turnover. He was short. Illinois gets the stop defensively. What a stand by the Illini. At first, I thought that he had the first down, but upon further review, he had to get about to the two and a half yard line. He didn't get there. So now with five minutes left in the game, as you guys can see, Coach Deal is going to put Samari Collier in the game at quarterback. And I think this is more so just out of abundance of a caution to sort of protect Span since he got banged up earlier in this game. And with Illinois having an 18-point lead here with four minutes to go, they're certainly in control and there's no sense of risking Deuce Span getting hurt with the teams that are left up on the schedule coming up soon. They got Notre Dame next week, Michigan, and then Penn State. Samari Collier is going to be short there. And on fourth down, they're going to send the offense back out on the field here. I don't know if Illinois should be going for this, but they have the offense out there. Collier trying to draw the defense off sides, and they got somebody to move. We'll see what the refs say. And they say it's a false start. There was some movement there on the line, but that will force Illinois to punt it away, but they milk some clock. And now with three minutes to go and counting, NIU will look to cut into this lead. Fletcher lost it out for Kenny. And it's
gets another first down. At this point, if you're Illinois, you're just playing damage control defensively. Fletcher is going to try to keep it himself, and he is swallowed by this Illini defense. That was Jerzon Newton, his second sack today. Good play by Newton there. And Fletcher will look to take off again. He's trying to scramble out to the left, but he's brought down from behind. What a play by Trevon Riggins. Riggins with a sack. And how about the speed from the defensive tackle? Great play by number 41. Those are the types of plays that show the depth of this Illinois defensive line. They have impressed me. Darren Robinson with another tackle for loss there as NIU is going backwards and it's fourth down and 15. Any small chance that NIU has to get back in this game rests on this play and it's incomplete. That was not even close to the chains as that one was broken up by Dylan Rosaic, the backup middle linebacker. Rosaic in for subbing in for Patrick Coleman. What a nice play there by him. And I don't know if NIU would have been able to get that one anyhow. That'll put Collier in the offense back out on the field. Collier takes us the rest of the way, and this one is over. Deuce Span, the player of the game, banged up in all. He gets 193 yards passing, over 100 yards rushing, three touchdown passes. You can see the stat line there. Hey, we talked about in the comments if it was possible for Span to get over 200 yards passing and 200 yards rushing in a single game, and he just came up seven yards short of doing that, even with a broken finger. Very impressive stuff from the Illini quarterback. Dustin Fletcher played well today, too, outside of that interception. Javion Ducker was a little bit of a problem on the ground for Illinois. How about Reggie Love? 87 yards on the ground and a touchdown. Span with 106. He was such a dynamic. He's been such a dynamic weapon for this offense. Josh McCray, 31 yards on the ground and a touchdown for him as well. This Illini rushing attack did very well today. Zach Anderson and Reggie Love. They lead the team with four receptions each. Anderson with a touchdown. Patrick Bryant with a touchdown as well. And McCray as well. A lot of guys that I wouldn't have expected to be having good seasons thus far doing really well as far as NIU you can see Fletcher did a good job spreading the ball around and then defensively for Illinois Calvin Hart certainly was the player of the game he had that interception a tackle for loss he also led the team in total tackles Darren Robinson some big plays as well in the open field nice tackles four of them in the backfield and looking at the game stats here NIU actually out edged Illinois in first downs and passing but Illinois with a 233 yards on the ground that was big today Illinois very balanced and Illinois was the better team today the defense really settled in both players of the game for offensively were the quarterbacks and then Calvin Hart of course defensively for Illinois so now we will turn the page this is when it starts getting real the schedule's about to get tough for Illinois Notre Dame is the next opponent on the docket they are the number three rated team in the entire country and this will be a neutral site game at soldier field these two are not doing a home on home they will just play each other once this year i'm really looking forward to this game notre dame will be a three and a half point favorite this will be the first time illinois is an underdog during this season drew pine their quarterback he is a fifth year senior but this, believe it or not, is only his first year starting. This is a Notre Dame team that made the national championship last season and lost to Clemson. But Drew Pine has put up good numbers so far. He is certainly stepping up into that role, not skipping a beat. Joel Hendricks, the tight end, is the leading receiver for Notre Dame as well. Looking at the Irish schedule here, they beat an FCS opponent and Wyoming. Handled both of them, so they really haven't been tested. This will be their first test, of course, against Illinois. And same for Illinois. I would say that these are two teams that definitely are not the same caliber as Notre Dame. That's pretty obvious. Looking here at the top 25 polls, Notre Dame started out preseason number one, and I was wondering why they dropped, but it was simply because Texas A&M beat a top 10 team, and so did Clemson. They beat Washington, who was a top 10 team. So those two deservedly so jump ahead of Notre Dame, but Notre Dame is certainly a team that is capable of being rated number one in the entire country. And you can see why. Look at this roster. Defensive tackle Riley Mills, a 99 overall player. Tosh Baker as well, the left tackle. And then Drew Pine, they have three 99 overall rated players. Drew Pine, Baker, and Mills, all these guys are projected to be first round 
draft picks if the season goes well for them. And you can just see the depth for this Notre Dame team. A ton of players rated 90 overall or better. And this is a team that has recruited very well, if I'm correct. I believe that they had the number one rated recruiting class last season. And this team has recruited like a national championship contender. And this will be a big test for Illinois. That is pretty obvious. Drew Pine, look at the quarterback depth for this Notre Dame squad. They have three quarterbacks that are rated 93 overall or better. Defensive tackle Riley Mills. I'm very excited to see the matchup between him against this offensive line for the Illini. Illinois has not faced a very good pass rush yet this season. And you can see why Coach Deal was very cautious with Span later in the game against NIU because he wants Span fully healthy and ready to go against the Irish. And this defensive front seven, it is very, very good. And again, this will be a very, very tough test for Illinois. They are an underdog in this game. It'll be in an NFL stadium at Soldier Field. And I am very excited for this. If Illinois can pull off this upset against the Irish, they will certainly move into the top 10, maybe even the top five if they can get this victory. Again, though, this is a non-conference game. So if Illinois were to lose this game, I wouldn't expect them to drop that far in the polls. But all you can ask for is that Illinois remains very competitive in this game. And this will be a good measuring stick to see the talent of Deuce Span up against this Notre Dame defense. A lot of first round draft picks on both sides of the ball for Notre Dame. So I'm very much looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. It'll be a big matchup. Cannot wait for it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode against NIU. And I will see you next week as we head to Soldier Field to face off against the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. <laughs>